गाइस व्हाट्स अप एवरीवन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड आई नो इट्स अ संडे सो वी आर हियर विद नॉट समथिंग टू बो यू पीपल बट आई एम गोना स्टार्ट ऑफ विद अ न्यू सीरीज टुडे ऑन द चैनल ऑफ वेदांत नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ इंग्लिश दैट इज योर एंड आर चैनल सो मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फर्स्ट बट यस गाइस वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ ब्रांड न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड एज हाउ डू थिंग्स वर्क एंड टू स्किक स्टार्ट दिस ब्यूटीफुल सीरीज वी आर गोना स्टार्ट विद समथिंग very very exciting now uh i know there are a lot of you guys here are marvel fans right can i know in the chat box how many of you guys here like love marvel or dc you know comic whichever you follow right now one of the things about marvel or dc is that these you know buying these figures for 500 600 rupees i mean are these figures are very expensive right if you go to a store you'll have to be like 1000 2000 rupees to get one one you know one figure of uh, let's say uh, iron man and it's very expensive what if i were to tell you that you can do all of this at your home according to the way that you want would you be interested and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's session guys we are going to talk about how do pre- 3d printers work not the regular inkjet pin- printers that you have this hp printers and all that this is the new era the brand new series or brand new uh, generation of things and we are going to start about we're going to talk about what exactly is a 3d printer and how does it really work and what are the things that you should know if you ever want to buy a 3d printer like this and probably own it one day and make things of your own now again guys don't just think that it's restricted only to superheroes and all that you can pretty much make anything using a 3d printer these days i'm talking about literally anything as long as it is something which which can withstand i mean which is made up of plastic and that can be easily replaced by a 3d printer you don't even have to go to a industry to do it anymore you have a 3d printer you can do it yourself so that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's session right guys so what is a 3d printer basically a 3d printer is nothing but a a three dimensional printer oh yes yeah that is it that is what is a 3d printer now guys what does a 3d printer do is basically it basically melts plastic and puts it one layer over another and what happens is that when it does so when it cools down you get the shape that you want and the best part is it cost a fraction of the cost that you're actually paying outside to do something this is something again guys this is the you know the new generation the way that it's going right now pretty much everything one day will be replaced by 3d printers pretty much all the industries would be obsolete again as long as it is not something which is made up of metals 3D printers can actually do the job without having to, you know, even companies don't have to spend so much of money. In fact, for example, this one, the the company which made this would have spent a lot of money to make the mold of this plastic and to get it right. But using a 3D printer, you wouldn't have to do it anymore. You can do it just at your home in a couple of hours. So what does it do exactly? Is that it has certain smaller nozzles. If you see very carefully over here, there are tiny little nozzles at the bottom, right? And these nozzles, what they do is that they melt the plastic they take out the you'll have to basically connect it uh, using certain uh, you know wires and stuff so what happens is they melt the plastic and they layer it on top of one another and they all you know automated you don't have to actually wait and see what's happening it's automatically done and within a couple of hours whatever you printed out would be right there right in front of you now get the type of quality the kind of you know the kind of uh, output that you get that depends on the the type of printer that you use the type of plastic that you use as well it's not just something which is dependent on your skills but also depends on the hardware of the 3d printer itself and also uh, you know it depends on the kind of plastic that you actually use now <clears throat> sometimes what happens is that when 3d printers are not up to the mark you can get something like this you know a very patchy looking substance where you can actually see the different different layers and you can see you can clearly differentiate that the 3d printer did not do a good job but when it's done right you can get spec 
spectacular when i say spectacular i'm talking about really really spectacular stuff with this 3d printer if you ever get the time guys just go on uh, youtube i know that you lot of you watch a lot of videos on youtube right so if you guys ever get the time go to youtube and try these uh, you know 3d printed models you'll find so many of them and they look so spectacular trust me you wouldn't even figure out you wouldn't even make out whether it's a 3d printed object or not that's how cool these objects actually look like and that's how that is the power of a 3d printer that you have these days right guys and so what they do is that basically there's a certain type of uh, you know science behind it so there's a certain uh, you know method called as a fused depositional modeling so what it does is that it basically on the same place it basically puts one layer after another so what it does is that it, it puts one layer lets it cool down and then puts another layer and then again waits for it and then again puts on top of it and it keeps on going like that uh you know the first time i actually came across a 3d printer was actually when i watched this movie called as mission impossible i don't know if you ever watched this movie it's by tom cruise right and this mission impossible like you you you, you know you can see some crazy gadgets in that right and one of the gadgets in that was actually a 3d printer now again back then we thought it was just a working prototype but then the fact is guys in just a couple of years it was actually out and uh, you know it's up and running everywhere you see these days you have 3d printers working uh, day and night and bring new things and you know soon enough again i'm telling you guys soon enough you won't even be able to make out whether it's a 3d printed object or if it's something which is produced in the industry that is the kind of quality that you're getting these days so this is basically how it works it goes left and right uh, or back and forth north and south also and it deposits the uh, melted plastic on top of another and then basically makes up the 3d printed model now the type of plastic like i talked about right there are different types of plastic that has been that are used here you have turbo plastics which is basically you know the plastic which can be easily melted and then uh, when it cools down it solidifies you have thermoplastics you have a certain plastic called as abs that is uh, acro uh, acri low nitrile butadiene uh, sterine i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it right but that is another type of plastic uh, the best person would be to uh, uh, the best person to answer this would be shilpi ma'am so i can ask her about this you also have pla which is nothing but polylactic acids and then P, uh, pet g that is pet is nothing but polyethylene uh, terephthalate so you have polyethylene uh, graphithinate glycol again these are different types of plastic so some of some of those don't even roll out of your tongue but yes these are the different types of plastic that you're using these days to make these 3d models and again guys if you ever get a chance to ever work on these consider yourself lucky and more importantly please send me a video of that <laughs> all right and yes how do you design it it's very very simple guys it's as simple as it gets so you have a you know you'll have a 3d uh, you know you'll have a uh, you'll have a software something like you know like a 3d modeling software like matlab or something like that uh, matlab is actually not uh, you know it's it's but yeah you can it's like solid works and all that so solid work is basically a software where you can actually uh, design 3d models and stuff so you'll have a software so first you have to design the software and then just simple hit print that's it and once you hit print it will automatically do the rest of the task by the time you wake up in the morning it would have been already done and again guys there are so many so many videos out there where you can see these 3d printed models at work and trust me you'll be blown away if you have ever if you have seen it awesome if you have not seen it i urge you to watch it at least once because trust me it'll just blow your mind away the kind of output that you get from these three these 3d models or 3d these 3d printers are just fabulous right guys so what happens again one layer sticks on top of another and basically slice by slide it makes up the entire uh, uh you know structure no matter how big it is you can actually so what you can do is you can actually even if it's a massive structure it's not necessary that it, it should be small itself there are people who have made a life sized iron man suit uh, and uh, captain america suit and all by using 3d printers so what you can do is you can print small small parts and then attach them together you can either use uh, so, you know soldering and all that you can either solder them to the, solder them together or you can make hinges and you can put these plastic together like a lego and uh, you know make it happen and there are people who actually do it who you know who have a passion of doing such things and if you look at it trust me guys there are there are there are, i i watched one of these videos where there were you know this person made a sword you know like a sword and the sword looks so real that 
you couldn't even as long as you didn't pick it up or you didn't uh, see it up close you wouldn't be able to even differentiate whether it's plastic or if it's uh, you know if it's steel that's how good it is i mean if you just put some good paint on it it just looks fabulous so yeah guys that is the how to series i hope you enjoyed it i for sure enjoyed learning a little bit about 3d printers and making this video i hope you enjoyed it too if you did subscribe to the channel hit the like button and yes if i ever get a 3d printer of you get a 3d printer ever let me know dm me and uh, we will do it together <laughs> all right so until the next time we meet guys this is anup signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead good luck and i'll catch you guys in the next how to series so subscribe to the channel All right take it guys adios for now bye bye see you all